Hello, I'm Matt Cuff from TheHouse.com, and these are 2018 Ride Snowboards. This is the Machete GT. This one is Jake Blavolt's Berserker, or Berserker, and they are absolute rippers that dominate the entire mountain. The Berserker is a little bit more for a, like a all mountain category and free riding category, whereas the Machete GT is a little bit more all mountain freestyle. You can find this one riding in the parks. You usually won't find the Berserker at all in the parks, but uh, with Jake's kind of influence, of course, you're gonna find a lot of riders ripping off natural terrain, busting on methods, and doing some crazy stuff. The Machete GT is uh, a wonderful board that's a true twin. The Berserker is a directional style board. And those are kind of like the, the right up front, the main differences. I'm gonna kind of walk through their, their similarities and their differences, of course, and well, hopefully help you pick the board that's definitely right for your skill and of course your uh, kind of set terrain. Now the Machete GT, awesome deck, twin hybrid style rocker profile. Underneath and in between the feet, the board's gonna have a little bit of camber. And then outside the insert packs to the contact points, the board's gonna rock up. So it's gonna feel maybe, I don't wanna say a little bit loose, or well, not too loose, but a little bit loose, but that camber still is really good for uh, ripping on groomers and of course, uh, snap, snap and high ollies. The board also features a center style stance and like a six to seven style flex rating. And there's lots of components and laminates inside this board that make it react and ride the way it does. The Berserker is a directional style board, as you see, it has a really fun shape to it and a directional hybrid camber profile. Underneath the front foot all the way back to the tail's contact point, the board's gonna have camber. Again, it's gonna be quick edge to edge, but it does have a sweeping and rockered style nose. Um, that's of course to keep your nose afloat when you're riding in deeper snow, but you can still charge hard on groomers with it. The stance is set back three quarters of an inch on the Berserker, and it will feature a flex and feel around the same about well, six or seven, but the tail's gonna have a little bit more kind of like energy and snap to it with the camera profile and some additional laminates. Both boards have what's called a performance wood core, and that wood core is a combination of both Aspen, Poplar, uh, excuse me, Polonia, and uh, Bamboo, which makes the core lightweight, super strong, and ultra poppy, and both boards feature a hybrid glass. There's Biax fiberglass on bottom and Triax glass on top. But because the um, the Machete GT is kind of more in that almost freestyle category, it does have double impact plates that kind of beef up the strength of the board underneath where the bindings rest and help to make the board a little, ride a little bit more damp. It also features what's called a roll-in carbon slime wall. So there's a urethane sidewall that has a kind of quarter cap with a 3D contour that gives it a little bit more strength, but it also has a sandwich style carbon urethane construction um, in the sidewall on both the nose and the tail to give the board a little bit more snap and pop. Uh, the last little thing of laminates that uh, the GT has is a carbon array five. So on each contact point corner, there's five strands of carbon that radiate across the board to the opposite edge underneath the insert packs, again, they give the board a little bit more snap and pop on that nose. So even though it does have a little bit of rocker on the nose and tail, um, it still has a lot of energy in them, which you don't really find in rocker nose and tail style boards. This bad boy right here um, features like kind of like one, two main different things. The, the first one is like the Carbon Array 3. Instead of having five strands of carbon, it's just three. And again, that's on the nose and tails contact points. Um, three strands of carbon reading it across the board to the opposite edge through those insert packs. And then lastly, uh, there's the directional carbon slime rods, and they're just in the tail. Now, the carbon slime rods uh, last year were called pop rods. Uh, they're basically just two pieces of carbon uh, sandwiching a urethane, same thing that's in the sidewall, uh, a urethane piece. The cool part about the directional uh, rods is that they start at the contact points and kind of have a V shape towards the insert packs uh, on just the tail, kind of give it a little bit more boost and stability when you're rocking out of a, like a heel side or toe side turn. Both boards, again, uh, feature a, a centered style base. They're gonna absorb tons of wax, so make sure to keep them waxed up throughout their life. And uh, the Berserker actually just has a standard style 360 wrap steel edge, whereas the Machete GT features 50% more steel in the edge with what's called the cleaved edge. Uh, both are absolute rippers, but if you're a rider who enjoys kind of like 
uh, riding groomers, maybe some, maybe some deep snow. Uh, the Machete GT is going to be a, a really good deck, especially if you're going to be in park. Um, but if you're going to kind of mostly stay out of the park, ride groomers, deep snow, maybe hit some trees, uh, the Berserker is going to be top notch. Both are really, really great decks. You can buy both and have a great, really good time. Um, and you can, of course, you can find them at thehouse.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, remember to leave a comment or a question. If you guys have anything, leave, let us know if you guys have ridden these and what do you think. And remember to subscribe to the channel too right now. Thanks so much. Peace.